Is there anyone who, who, who takes the lead in, in stuff like that in the band? No, no, we, we all pile in there, you know, we all put our two penis, 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 <laughs> penis worth in. I put my teeth back in. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, fake teeth. <laughs> Uh, but uh, now uh, on the road, uh, with, with with all the ages you have, uh, you have now, is is that is that difficult? Or? It's what difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> muscles there, but, but. Yeah, do you, you have to you have to stay do you have to stay fit at this age? Oh sure, yeah, I, I guess you do. Yeah, yeah, you have to stay fit. Touring itself keeps you fit, you know, and we've we've uh, we've worked solidly now for almost a year, so. That in itself keeps you fit. It's when you're off the road you've got to keep in shape, so that when you get back on the road, you you fit enough to deal with it. Yeah, but uh, but all the troubles on the road, you know, not enough sleep, uh, bad food. Is there is there any of that left? Or, uh? Yeah, that happens all the time. This morning was a good one, really. You know, we were woken up by drills and hammers at eight o'clock this morning in the hotel in Brussels. It was called the Windsor, I think, just to get that plug in there. If the lady manager remembers me. I'm sure she will. Um, the Wind's a five-star hotel, yeah, and um, in fact, our tour manager who was next door to me, he opened his curtains and, and, and realised there was scaffolding, scaffolding outside his, his window as well. That was pretty much close to mine as well, so. But, you know, that does happen, but, uh, and that's another reason for staying on the ball, really. You can't get, uh, you can't part, get to party like you used to do back in the day, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, the touring is rigorous now. We play probably more shows than we ever did, you know, in a, in a tour consecutively. And this is the third in a row tonight. Amsterdam is going to be killer. And, um, yeah, so we have to stay uh, on the ball. And do, do you ever miss the partying? Well, no, because, I mean, you know, there are occasions where, you know, I mean, we, you know, just have some fun. We're all allowed to have some fun, they say, every now and again. <laughs> in limited quantities, uh, but it's not too bad. Is there any new bands you, you guys would like to tour with? Well, you know, we've already sort of answered this question in the sense that we, we had that choice to do on this tour. And a lot of people do do that. They'll put younger bands on. We've always had younger bands and helped younger bands. Let, let me make that clear. You know, right, right from day one, we, we were, when we first went to America, you know, we were treated pretty mean by a few bands over there. It gave us one spotlight, you know, and that didn't always work. So we were jockeying for, for position in the middle of the stage. So we always wanted to help the younger bands. And we've had through the years a lot of younger bands on tour with us. And we've sort of nurtured them and helped to launch them and give them advice and, and just you know, give them a platform to show what they can do. At this time round, we just wanted to put a classic build together so that the whole audience is a classical audience. That was the idea behind this tour. Does it mean you also see more old people in the, in the audience? Absolutely not. There's, there's more young people than ever at these shows. It's, uh, it's, it's a great thing to see because it means we've got it right, you know. And uh, surprising though it may, may seem, there's so many young people at our shows now. And, I think one of the best uh, compliments that's ever been paid to Priest is that our music, in a sense, is timeless and therefore, you know, attractive to our older fans and young fans. And did it surprise you to see all those young kids? Or? No, not not at all. I think um, throughout our career, I mean, people seem to um, seem to be somewhat surprised, you know, what there's, there's young people in the audience for Judas Priest and that, you know. But I mean, it's not just uh, rock music and metal music that regenerates. It's it's pop, jazz, it's classical, whatever, you know. There's uh, people have to, you know, uh, come up and uh, and, uh, and and people. It will get passed down in a sense from you know, parents aunts, uncles, whatever, the style of music that they like. Um, but a lot of times, you know, um, just um, just at school, you know, certain, some of the youngsters will, 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 will get into Judas Priest just naturally, maybe now with all the vehicles that you've got now, especially with the, the internet and the YouTube, once they see something that they like, you know, they're not afraid to think this is what I like, irrespective of who it is, you know. Um, but definitely, we're very fortunate to have a great fan base and a great cross-section, as, as you say, of all age groups. Uh, about playing live, you, you're both the guitarists, so is there ever uh, a competition between you, between you two live? 
Absolutely. There's, there's healthy competition in a sense that, you know, if, if we're doing trade-offs in the studio and Ken comes up with some blistering lead, I've got to compete with that, you know, so I try my best to do that and Ken will vice versa do the same. But we've always had a bit of a sixth sense as guitar players after working together for 30 years. We, we you know, we sort of know what, what's needed from each of us automatically, particularly when we're writing or in the studio. Um, and we take that under the stage as well. It's great, you know, it, it, it keeps you on your toes and it means that we, we work hard and uh, we come up with the goods and that's really what you need to do after you've been in a band for 40 years. We've got to keep coming up with fresh ideas and, and Ken feeds off me, I feed off Ken. Particularly in a writing sense as well, you know. It's, it, we, we, myself, uh, Ken and Rob, we, we're very fortunate that we've got a great chemistry as, as writers. And, you know, you need to stimulate each other's, other's interests. You need to still come up with good ideas. And, um, and that's, that's what we, we do. What was the last time he really surprised you? Sorry? What was the last time he really surprised you? Um, <laughs> in what, what, in what way? He out in the morning <laughs> when he was in his dressing gown going down to the reception. That surprised you. <laughs> no, I... I, I don't know, it's difficult now, like I say, because we're so familiar now with, you know, in, in all the workplaces, like, like as Glenn says, whether it's in the studio or on stage, we, we're kind of so familiar with, with each other and what we do. But I think we're, we're, we're always the, uh, looking for the main goal, whether we're songwriting, recording or live on stage, it's, that's what really matters, you know, it's the, it's the songs that are really, really important and live. It's... Uh, Obviously, the performance and uh, and just being re uh, united as a team. Do you ever uh, complain about the other guy just screwing up on stage? No, you, you know, everybody makes mistakes, but you know, if you're professional enough, you you overcome mistakes. As I don't think we've ever lost our way in a number and not found our way again. You know, and so uh, we. Uh, in 40 years of touring, there's been all sorts of events and uh, accidents and things happen on stage. And with a band like Priest, it's not, it's, it's, we're not like Eric Clapton. We're not just standing there playing, playing, you know, motionless. Nothing against Eric, God bless him, you know. Um, it's, we're all over the place, you know, and, and, you know, you get caught in things, you fall over things. So um, it's action-packed, you know, and you, uh, you expect to make a few minor glitches some night. It all makes it just more fun. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a, it's the real thing. Yeah, as long as you don't split your pants, that's the main thing. <laughs> that would be re very, very bad, I guess. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, and good okay. luck tonight. Thank you.